Hello, this is Mark from CQ Simple. I'd like to talk to you today about the abilities of the Nimbus platform to utilize multicast paging. Multicast paging is an alternative to using the paging and intercom application on the Nimbus platform. Uh, it is a much softer and much easier on your system, uh, especially if you're going to be having multiple phones or speakers in a page group. Nimbus typically limits page groups to 25 uh, IP telephones and a lot of people need to go beyond that to say 40 or 50 or 60. And In that case multicast paging is going to be the best avenue to go to that larger number. I would even suggest using it at 20 or 15 or even 10. Uh, it's a fantastic feature. Uh, it really depends on the phones you are using. Uh, the multicast paging is just purely between the phones. Uh, the Nimbus actually doesn't play a role in it. Uh, it just facilitates the communication to the phone. Uh, but the multicast paging is an alternative to using the paging application. Uh, and I'd like to show you how to set that up uh, using the Nimbus uh, on a grand stream phone today. So if we log into our Nimbus, I'll be using Endpoint Manager to be able to set up a phone to listen to multicast paging. What multicast paging is, is a phone actually listens uh, on a certain port. And if there's ever audio there, it automatically opens up the speakers and begins you know, playing that audio uh, over top of the uh, speakers there. So the first thing you want to do is go to your template. So I'll click on my grand stream template. And I typically, I, in this case, I only have one grand stream template. And we've gone through the setup of templates before, but we've not touched on the multicast paging. So what you want to do here is you want to enable it, and then you need to give it an address. And this can depend on your phone. So if you're using Yealinx or, or uh, Polycoms, uh, typically those phones will tell you what addresses to look for to use for multicast paging. Most of them are 224.0.0.0. .0 .0. And then you've got a colon, and then you've got a port. And the port's up to you, uh, as long as that port is not currently being used by the phone. So you wouldn't want to use 5060 uh, or 10,000 to 20,000 because the phone will be using that for audio. In this case, I happen to choose 987. So I enabled it, and then I give it an address. So the phone is going to be listening for audio on that port. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to save it. So as you can see, we now have it enabled. We have our port that our phone is going to be listening on. And then it's helpful to add a button for users to be able to press to be able to broadcast over top of that port. So if we click on our GXP2140, you can see we've got a line key. Multicast paging is an option for the Grandstream 2140. I labeled it page. And then the value matches the port that we want to be listening on. So when you press that key, you start talking over that port, all the other phones that are listening on that port will automatically pop up that audio on their speakers. So I'm going to save that. And in this case, all I need to do is come down here, save and apply, rebuild my configs. Now I've made new files. The files indicate to enable multicast page on that port. We would reboot the phone and that phone would now be able to use multicast paging. I've uh, fast forwarded a bit and have done that already. So if we take a look at the phone, the way you can check that is under settings, you'll see a multicast paging. As you can see, it took our template and put in our address there, 224.0.0 colon 987, label as page. So this phone is going to be listening on that port for any audio. And you can listen on various ports. So 224.0.0.0 .0 .0 colon 970. And maybe that's going to be the sales. So you can have different paging or multicast paging zones if you want. And you can have a phone listening, in this case, to 10 different zones for paging here. So if we save and apply that. We also want to take a look at our buttons of the phone to make sure it did take that button. 
So if we come up here to settings, programmable keys, as you can see, we took that fourth key. It's a multicast paging key. Its value indicates that. So now, if you wanted to page over that, you would press that button and start talking. And any phone that you program to listen on that page would automatically pop up over the speakers, unless that person was on the phone. In that case, it would not interrupt their conversation. Uh, multicast paging is a great alternative if you want to page a lot of phones, even if you want to page 10 or 15. It's just a really soft, easy on the system way to do paging, uh, which a lot of your customers want to do without necessarily having to tie up a lot of channels on the Nimbus platform. If you have any questions, as always, uh, give us a call uh, here at CQ Simple, 855-344-2774. Hope you have a great day.